morning boys and girls. I hope you're all alright this morning. Right, let's start our morning off with our good morning song. Can you show me your waving hands? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning dear friends and how do you do? Well done. Right, let's put our hands together for our class prayer. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you God for everything. Amen. Right, yesterday it was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Does anyone know what day it is today? Have a little think. Today is Friday, Friday. So we'll do my turn, then your turn, okay? So my turn, today is Friday. Your turn. Amazing, well done. Today it is Friday and all this week we have been looking at the story of the very hungry caterpillar. And he was a very hungry caterpillar indeed, wasn't he? We've done lots of lovely activities all about the caterpillar and the different foods he ate. But today we're going to focus on what he turned into at the end of the book. Can you remember? He turned into a beautiful butterfly. So this morning I would like you to have a go at making your very own beautiful butterfly. I have done mine on purple mash, so if you would like to do yours on purple mash too, I will talk you through it. If you would like to paint or draw yours or make one, that would be amazing too. I'd love to see different butterflies, so it's entirely up to you. If you can get onto purple mash, fantastic. If you want to paint or draw or make a butterfly, amazing. Okay, so I will talk you through the steps if you are going to do one on Purple Mash. So you need to sign into your Purple Mash account and you need to go to your Mini Mash into the classroom and there's a door in the classroom. You click on the door to go outside, okay? And then there's a painting mat on the floor. You need to click on the painting mat and it will say Paint Projects. If you click on that, it's on the first page, you should see a butterfly. Okay, and Miss Baglin painted this one. This is my beautiful butterfly. I've done lots of different colours, I've made it stripy and I've also added some spots onto my butterfly, okay? So, this programme is very, very special on Purple Mash because the butterfly has one, two wings and if you put a spot on this wing, it does exactly the same on this one. So both the wings look the same and they will always look the same. So I coloured in this wing first and I did a purple stripe and it did the same on this wing. Okay, so you don't have to do two wings. The computer does it for you. It's very, very magic, very special. So when you've clicked on the butterfly, your computer screen or iPad will look like this and you've got all your different colours going down the side so you can choose, use the arrows to make the pens go up and down because there's lots of other different colours. This tool at the bottom, if you move the marker, it will make your pen thicker or thinner, okay? So you can use that tool. When you've finished painting your lovely butterfly, you need to remember to write your name. So I've written, well I typed Miss Baglin at the bottom, okay? So you will have to write your name there. When you've finished, you need to click on those three lines there that we call a burger, look a bit like a burger. If you click on there, it says save. So you might have to, have to ask a grown up to help you with that bit. And you, when you've pressed save, you need to find your tray. Okay, so some of you might remember what your tray looks like because you've all got a picture on there. So you press on your tray and it will save it there. All right, and then Miss Baglin can print them off at school and I can put them in your folders. 
All right, and I would love to make a beautiful, very hungry caterpillar display. I would love to display your pictures. All right, so that's if you're doing yours on purple mash, you can do that. If not, like I say, you can paint one, you can draw one. I'll put a picture of the butterfly on Dojo. I've not got the book on me at the moment, but I will put a picture on Dojo just to give you a reminder of what the butterfly looks like from the book. From your pictures, I've seen lots of you have got the story anyway. All right, so you can have a look back at the book. It, you can do yours based on that butterfly or you can make a brand new butterfly. All right, your very own creation. It's entirely up to you. All right, I will see you at 11 o'clock for some counting. All right, enjoy that activity. I'm excited to see all of your butterflies and I will see you at 11 o'clock. Bye.